again, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mega Game Library Pickups. I'm Ken Horowitz from Sega16.com, and I'm going to show you what I've gotten lately for my Genesis collection. Uh, it's not a really big haul, it's a decent sized one. I'm happy with it. So let's get to it. The first game is True Lies. Now, even though this has the Acclaim logo on it, this is a really good game. This is a top down, almost an isometric type shooter. Uh, run and gun game. It's really, really good. You go in a lot of diverse areas, killing lots of terrorists, collecting uh, items, and um, completing objectives and everything, and uh, I was really glad to add this one to my collection. Uh, next up, Virtua Fighter 2. Um, yeah, you have to ask yourself, what was Sega thinking when it decided to port Virtua Fighter 2 to the Genesis? Um, considering the Saturn was, you know, able to do a respectable version but not arcade perfect but actually if you take it for what it is as a 2D fighter it's pretty solid pretty good interesting something different to play on the Genesis compared to uh, other Sega efforts and in, in the fighting arena so I found it cheap and it was complete so it would be interesting to give this one a go and just see how well it stands up over uh, prolonged play another fighting game Deadly Moves. Now, I have to be honest. Uh, this one wasn't on my radar. It wasn't on my want list. I wasn't even looking for it. But then I saw an episode of GameSack where they talked about uh, other fighting games. And I was looking... I'd seen this one before, seen video of it, taken some screenshots for our review of Sega 16, but I never actually sat and played it. And when the opportunity to find one in pristine condition... Uh, came up really, really cheap. I figured, well, why not? Let's see if it's really as bad or as good as people say, because I've heard a lot of mixed things. Kaneko, I don't know. When I think Kaneko fighting, I think, you know, DJ Boy, which is okay. But uh, I gave it a try, and it's not as bad as uh, a lot of people uh, make it out to be. So I was pretty happy to find that uh, it surprised me. I was really surprised to see how decent it was. Uh, next game I got is F-22 Interceptor. Now, this game, and I have a copy of F-117 uh, Fighter coming. Uh, you can think, what, what, why would I be interested in these polygonal simulation games? I'm a sucker for these uh, type games on the Genesis, because I just love to see the Genesis push polygons. Even if it's quasi-3D, pseudo-3D, whatever you want to call it, I love to see the Genesis do this. M1 Abrams, Battle Tank... Uh, loved it. Uh, Steel Talons, uh, a Lynx Attack Copter. They just really, really interest me because I just like to see the Genesis, you know, be put through its paces with these type of games. And I hadn't played this one, and I bought some some boxes from a friend, uh, extra clamshells that I needed, and uh, this was included. Sadly, it doesn't have the manual. So if anyone out there has an extra F22 manual, they'd be willing to trade or sell. Please let me know. Um, but I decided, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to cannibalize the box. I'm going to keep this one because I like these 3D fighting, these 3D uh, polygonal games on the Genesis. Another acclaimed game, Judge Dredd. Uh, another game, I've been looking first to these, these Stallone games. I want to get Demolition Man too. I don't know why, I just decided I wanted to, uh, to really give them a playthrough. I've seen video and I actually played through a little bit, again, for screenshots for our reviews. But I never actually sat down and given it some time, and uh, this one's actually pretty solid. It's kind of hard, but uh, didn't come with the comic book, but but it's complete in that it has box and manual, so I'm happy. But uh, pretty good game too. And the last two are a pair of imports. I mentioned these on a Facebook page, but uh, I got uh, this Dorman. I'm not even going to try to say whatever the hell this name is, but it's a Dorman game. It's a platformer, uh, very Mario, Super Mario-ish really really good and this game usually I've seen it go over for like 30 bucks and I got it for $14 shipped I don't know maybe the seller didn't know what they had um, what he had but I got it really cheap and it is of course complete and in great condition and this is an awesome awesome little platformer game uh, just look for the big blue doorman or whatever the hell he is on the cover and get yourself a copy if you can this is a really good platformer game you can check out our review on sega16.com for more information. And the other one is Hanpei Bam Sam Sakamoko, whatever, uh, Dodgeball. And uh, this is a really interesting title. It's a dodgeball game 
but with a twist, kind of like, reminds me of those River City Ransom sports games that had the characters but had twists, like the, there was a, a street dodgeball game like that. Um, and it's got a story mode, of course, don't know what the hell the story is about because it's in Japanese, but it's fun to play, and it's complete, and I got it at a really, really good price. I think it was $13, a dollar less than Dorman. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try and s climb over the language barrier and give this one a little bit more playtime, but uh, pretty good game from what I've played and seen so far. So, and for the price, can't knock it. So, um, that's about all I got for the Genesis. Um, I also got... This just came in today, Lord of the Sword, complete as well. Uh, a lot of people hate on this game. I had this game a long time ago, but I got rid of it. I wanted to get it back to give it a second chance. I don't anticipate it being anything really great from what I remember, but uh, I got it for a good price, you know. And um, it's a little action RPG game, adventure role playing. Sorry, not action, adventure role playing on the Sega Master System. And I'm um, trying to beef up my Master System collection, so I'm going to give this one a shot and see if it's as, you know, if it's faithful to my memory. So, I've got uh, a lot of other games for more modern consoles for the PlayStation 3 and for the 3DS that I'll probably get to in another video. But uh, that's everything for my Genesis collection. As always, head over to our Facebook page, check us out there. Head over to Sega16.com and read our reviews, features, and interviews. We've got a new review up of the Blake Harris. Console Wars book that just went up today, so head on over there and take a look, and please thumbs up and like the video, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe. Take care.